Hi, this is Iris from Cashmere Goat. And in this episode of How Do I, we're going to be talking about how to pick up and knit stitches, uh, for example, along a neckline or along a button band or along the gusset of your heel of a sock. Um, and instead of trying to do that with your knitting needles, which is sometimes a little clumsy, and a little awkward and a little slippery. I'm going to talk about how to use a crochet hook to do this. So stay tuned if you want to learn a fun new technique that I think makes it a lot easier to pick up stitches. So rather embarrassingly, it was not that long ago that I realized that when a pattern said pick up and knit, they were thinking of that, the designer was thinking of that as one move that you could do in one row. Um, for years, what I would do is I would pick up a bunch of stitches because that was really hard and awkward for me. And then on the next round, I would knit them. So in fact, when a designer says pick up and knit, they're actually saying you can pick up and knit those stitches in one go. Once I realized that, I really struggled with um, trying to pick up a knit using uh, a circular needle tip. It just always felt tight. It always felt awkward. A lot of times the stitches weren't, it was like hard to wrap my yarn. I just, it didn't really work for me. So I one day thought, well, maybe I could just help myself out and use a crochet hook. Um, so I thought that it would be worthwhile maybe to show others that possibly had struggled. So I'm just going to move this needle tip out of the way so you can kind of we're not fighting with that right now. Let's actually move it up here. There we go. Okay, so when we are picking up, and you can see I've already picked up a whole bunch of stitches around this top edge of my collar, what we're looking to do is to place the needle, or hook in this case, and put it under two bars of that top selvage edge. This is the selvage edge, the edge of my knitted fabric. So I've got my two bars on my hook. I grab my yarn and pull it through. And now since I moved my needle tip way far over, just so that it wouldn't be confusing visually, we're gonna move it way far back. But in real life, uh, how it looks is something more like this. And then you're gonna place your, your new stitch on the needle in the same manner um, with whatever leading leg is forward on your way of knitting. Um, so I am a knitter who has my, this right hand leg of the needle coming forward over the needle, but that's not true for everybody I've learned. So anyway, um, that's how it looks. And then I'm gonna just zoom us in a little closer so that we get a better view this time. All right, so here's my selvage edge. I'm gonna to try to do it with my, my knitting needle closer. So I've got my selvage edge. Here's where I'm gonna be inserting my needle, my hook, excuse me. And now I just grab and pull through and place this right on top of my needle. And just sort of, you know, snug it right in there. And I'm gonna do one more and then we'll watch it in slow motion just for extra, extra fun. So again, I'm going to be picking up two bars. So here's
So if you tried this technique and you find it helpful, we'd love to know about it. Um, leave us a comment down below. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media at Cashmere Goat Yarn on Instagram and at the Cashmere Goat on Facebook. Thanks so much for watching and happy knitting.